guys welcome back we are making our um it's a new style of wire wrapped ring um it has little like coils and then these lovely little crackle beads so we've got a couple examples here made this one's a red one um i'm teaching my daughter how to make them as we go so uh for example so this is how we're gonna do it all right so what you're gonna need for this particular one is you're gonna need our ring mandrel, or as I said before, you can use um, those large. Um, where's your markers at? Because we can use those too. I was going to show how we could do that, but I can't find one right now. You usually have a million of them sitting around. So you could use these kind. So make sure it's fat. You can use this as well. So I'm going to show you. My daughter's going to use the ring mandrel, and I'm going to use the marker. So, so you don't have to buy any special tools, but you will need some sort of wire so I have we're using uh, 18 gauge uh, colored wire and I get this off of Amazon you will need beads <laughs> and I just have crackle beads again got them off of Amazon what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bead and put it in the middle of your wire and you're gonna join your two ends of your wire before you start doing anything you just kinda fold it in half so this one is a Kind of a light pink and white crackle bead. It's gonna look really pretty in the sunlight. And then I'm using just plain pink wire. Then you put it on your ring mandrel or your your marker, marker as I'm using here. You want to make sure the one thing you want to make sure with these rings is you pull them tight. So I'm constantly manipulating my wire, trying to keep keep things. You bring your little legs, one on each side of your bead, one on top, one on the bottom, and you can wrap it. I, I usually wrap it twice, but with thinner wire, you're gonna want to wrap it more than twice. You're gonna wrap, want to wrap it a couple of times. Um, and if you noticed, I switched the way my legs were going on here because one of my wire pieces wanted to go up top, and and the one I it was the one I had on the bottom so I just switched it so it was more it laid more the way the wire wanted to lay and then so with this particular wire I'm only wrapping it twice so you'll, and what I mean by that is you'll have two coils on the back and then you take and I pull it up um, now I like my mandrel a little bit better than using the, this because and here's why the mandrel my mandrel has grooves in it so my wire just kind of fits in the grooves and it just kind of sits there this it's sliding around now you're gonna wrap a coil around your bead and I'm gonna do this yeah twice but again you want to pull it tight want to keep it as tight as you can get it so that your wire stays tight now to know what size these are gonna be you're gonna definitely need a ring mandrel because you're gonna need to know what size your you know, like this isn't gonna tell you what size your ring is unless you know I mean this makes about a seven I think you make your your shape and then you take it off and you have your wires going up and down usually they're gonna be going side to side but you want them up and down now and then you take one of your wires and you tuck it through and this is where you're gonna really need some to use a little bit of elbow grease because you're gonna want this wire crimped as close as you can get it to that bead basically what we're doing here is securing we're, we're doing a couple of wraps around and securing that coil securing that coil to the wire and now we're gonna do that to the other side we're gonna wrap twice you can wrap it more than twice but for the particular ring that we're doing today I only want it wrapped twice and I'm gonna wrap it again and you want to pull it tight so if you have to get a pair of pliers to pull this as tight as you can get it then by all means do that but be careful because it does chip your on some of this uh, wire it will chip the color off so you just need to be careful if I was smart I would have my nylon pliers out but I don't all right so then you're back you can put it back on your your mandrel or or, you know your marker whatever you're using kind of force it down and then again your wires naturally want to go back and forth this way you want to keep them up and down <clears throat> and we're gonna start with this wire that's on top and I'm going to go to the very end I'm gonna take my pointed nose pliers go to the very end of my wire here and the very end of those pliers and I'm gonna make a little loop just like so and I'm just gonna kind of follow it around so we have a little coil see our little coil there and then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of, well, first of all, I'm going to take my bendy nose pliers. You don't necessarily need these. You can use flat nose, but I like bendy nose just because it kind of adds to my, where my coil goes. And I'm flattening out that coil. And, um, and again, we want to go, so 
since this was the top coil, we're going, we're taking our coil out, away from the ring. Do you see what I'm doing here? And you just continue following it around, pulling that coil as tight as you can get it, all the way down, all the way down. See how we have it there? And so it's kind of sticking out. Push it into the wire ring. And then we stick it back on our mandrel and kind of, or marker, and then kind of flatten it out. See how we have that coil there now with the ring? That's what we're aiming for. Now we flip our ring over and we do the same on the other side. And I started with about 12 inches of wire originally. Now if you have thinner wire, so this is 18 gauge wire I'm using right here, this pink wire. Um, if you have thinner wire, so like 20 gauge wire, you're going to want to go a little bit bigger. So do about 14 inches of wire. But you're going to use it all. You're not trimming off any of this. Then we put it back on the mandrel again. So we, we coiled, put it back, put it back on our mandrel or our marker, and just kind of shape it how we want it to shape. And that is it. That is the total tutorial for this super easy ring to make. I will probably go in and tack down these little coils with a little bit of super glue or E6000 glue just so that they're not going to move. But that's how it's done. That's that's what we're doing there. Super easy. Now, for to do the marker, measure. it makes I'm measuring to see what size the marker makes. Um I know it's not big enough for my finger, but all right, well we it makes a size 5. It doesn't even fit on my finger. So, if you want something that's going to give you exact measurements, you're gonna wanna go with this. So like for me, if I was to make one, I need to go with this because my r ring finger is a size nine and my other fingers are a size 11 and 12. So I would definitely need, I couldn't use this because this would no way fit. <laughs> but this one's a size five and I know there are people out there with smaller fingers. So I mean, all sizes can work.